Cats. If you are a horror movie fan, these movies might be your favorite horror movies. Here are the 10 scariest horror movies ever. It, 2017. Clown phobia is a very real dread, even if announcing it has become so prevalent that it feels phony. If you need any more proof, consider the box office success of IT, based on the Stephen King novel of the same name, which broke The Exorcist's 44-year record as the highest-grossing horror film of all time. Andy Muschietti's big-budget remake used nostalgia to tell the narrative of traumatized youngsters, while Bill Skarsgård's portrayal of Pennywise the Wicked, shape-shifting clown was strange and scary in all the right ways. With a healthy dosage of jump scares, a few stunning set pieces, and some top-notch CGI, you've got yourself a horror flick that's both terrifying and entertaining. Insidious. 2010. Although James Wan and Patrick Wilson collaborated on The Conjuring, they also collaborated on this spooky thriller about a young child who goes into a coma and begins to channel a demonic spirit. The plot itself wasn't particularly innovative, but regular one collaborator Lee Huanel instilled it with a captivating mythology that produced three more chapters. Wan also remarked that Insidious was intended to be a counterpoint to Saw's unabashed violence, which forced him to create something on a deeper spiritual level, and the end result is an effective chiller with one of the best jump scares ever seen on film. Sinister. 2012. Director Scott Derrickson had a few horror films under his belt before joining the MCU with 2016's Doctor Strange, a handful of which garnered cult followings. One of these was a small-scale haunted house-slash-possession story about a true crime writer, Ethan Hawke, who moves his wife and kids into a house where a family was killed, only to discover the new residence already had an evil occupant. C. Robert Cargill was said to have been inspired to write the script after having a nightmare after seeing The Ring, and the tale does have a passing resemblance to that picture. What with the eerie snuff film perspective? The dramatic reveals and terrifying set pieces, however, far eclipsed any repeated genre for many who watched it. Halloween. 1978. The film that made all-time screen queen Jamie Lee Curtis famous, and placed John Carpenter on the map. Halloween is often recognized as one of the early examples of the slasher genre as we know it today, and while it lacks the realistic gore that we've come to expect from films in that genre, it nevertheless manages to pack a lot of tension and some imaginative thrills into a pretty tiny package. The film's legacy is also untouchable. Michael Myers' mask has become legendary, and the enormous, unstoppable killer and the final girl have become part of horror lore. The franchise is still going strong for a reason. The Ring. 2002. It's always a challenge to take something that works well in one culture and try to translate it well into another. But Gore Verbinski did it with The Ring. Verbinski's adaptation of Japanese filmmaker Hideo Nakata's famous horror about a cursed VHS preserved the original film's remarkable visual picture. The ghost of a young girl in a white dress with long black hair hiding her face. And found that it terrified audiences worldwide. While it wasn't as well received as its predecessor, it boasts a passionate performance from a then-unknown Naomi Watts, and it served as a gateway to East Asian horror cinema for many. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 1974. While the top four films on the list received a combined 42% of all votes cast, they were followed by six films that each received roughly 3% of the vote. To put it another way, the final six films were separated by only 60 votes. The first is Tobe Hooper's low-budget slasher, which is largely based on the crimes of Ed Gain and directed and co-written by him. The gritty atmosphere of Texas Chainsaw helped lend it an aura of reality, 
making it all the more terrifying. This could possibly happen you guys. While Gunnar Hansen's Leatherface paved the way for other brutes, such as Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. Several attempts have been made to revive the franchise. The Shining. 1980. Hundreds of Stephen King's novels and stories have been adapted for the big screen, and several of them, including Carrie, Misery, and Pet Cemetery, not to mention non-horror films like The Shawshank Redemption and Stand By Me, are now considered masterpieces. But Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of The Shining is unquestionably the best of them all. The Shining is a masterpiece of set and production design, as well as a very unsettling take on the typical haunted house theme, with a slew of memorable images and an iconic Jack Nicholson performance. The film's few jump scares are still terrifying, but its true power resides in the way it gets under your skin and makes you feel Jack Torrance's gradual spiral into lunacy. The Conjuring. 2013. With films like Saw, Dead Silence, Insidious, and this inspired by true events chiller based on the experiences of real-life paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, James Wan has cemented his place among the current masters of horror. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga represented the Warrens, who are best known for their work on the bizarre case that spawned the Amityville horror movies, which played a part in The Conjuring 2 and who grounded the effective jump scares and freak-out moments with a believable world weariness. Juan and his co-stars found new terror in traditional genre cliches, resulting in a complex cinematic universe that is only getting bigger. Hereditary. 2018. Ari Aster's feature directorial debut, a dark family drama on the nature of loss couched within a supernatural horror thriller created a big splash. Tony Collette's slowly ratcheted up to 11 performance as befuddled mother Annie earned her a place in the pantheon of epic Oscar snubs, but the film's biggest shock came courtesy of, well we won't ruin it here. To say the least, Hereditary struck such a chord with viewers that it immediately elevated as a director to watch. The Exorcist. 1973. You may or may not agree that The Exorcist is the scariest film ever made, but it's surely no surprise that it's at the top of our list. The adaptation of William Friedkin's eponymous novel about a demon-possessed child and the attempts to exorcise said demon became the highest-grossing R-rated horror picture of all time and the first to be nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. It earned nine other nominations and took home two trophies. Apart from its critical and economic success, the picture is well known for the enormous frenzy it sparked across the country. From protests over its contentious subject matter to audience complaints of nausea and fainting. Its dramatic pacing and slightly dated effects may appear quaint in comparison to some recent horror. But there's no disputing the film's power over those who experience it for the first time. Which of these horror movies scare you the most? Please share it with us in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates about your favorite movies and celebrities.